Joining me this morning is Todd Kerber, CEO of Austin's very awesome P. Terry's. How are you, sir? Doing great. How are you doing, Casey? Doing pretty good. Uh, so you guys have a brand new P. Terry's location. Talk about that. Yeah, so we just opened our newest location earlier this week in Tech Ridge, which is the Palmer Lane at I-35 area. There's a new development there uh, that we're sitting on the frontage road right there, open for business. That's actually a double drive through only. Uh, that, that one does not have a dining room, but uh, we've got two lanes open, ready to serve everybody in the Tech Ridge area. So we're excited about that. And that's actually our second opening in two months. We uh, Last month, um, sort of right at the beginning of this COVID pandemic, uh, that kind of shut everyone down. We actually opened uh, a location in Georgetown, which is our full uh, dining room plus double drive through model. Um, and then next month in, in about three weeks, we're going to be opening a third location this year um, that's at MLK in Guadalupe right there by the UT campus. Um, so that one's getting close to finish. So, you know, we're excited about being able to open these restaurants during this very challenging time for the primary reason of you know, it's about giving people jobs uh, as people are getting laid off in record numbers. If we can do our small part to offer people a job, you know, restaurant workers that have been displaced um, between those three restaurants, we're hiring about 150 to 200 folks. So uh, that's the thing we're probably most proud of. That's great. And speaking of drive throughs and to goes, that's what all the PTRs are doing right now because of the pandemic. How's that going and how does it work? You know, it, like everyone else, you've sort of had to, uh, pivot on the fly, you know, and adjust our model, our operating model. But um, because we had drive throughs prior to this and because we had delivery services with our partners at Favor and DoorDash, um, we were able to pivot pretty smoothly and pretty quickly and adjust to the, you know, the new way of doing things. Um, you know, like everyone out there, it's been a struggle for us. You know, it's not been easy. Um, we're still down considerably in sales, as you would expect when you don't, you can't offer that dining room service that people really gravitate towards. So, um, but you know what, we feel fortunate. We feel good that we're probably faring better than most. Um, and it's really, it's just about hanging on and surviving right now and getting to the other side of this. Cool. So the, I guess the problem a lot of people have with delivery and to go and stuff is, is when you get home, your warm food doesn't taste all that great, but you guys have a tip uh, for your very awesome and unique P. Terry's fries about how to bring them back to life again once you get home. Yeah, so as we all know, fries are like one of the worst traveling products out there, right? And uh, they get limp and cold pretty quick. So a little side pro tip from us here is when you get home or when you have your fries delivered to you, an easy way to kind of quickly get them crispy and hot again is set your oven to 450 and then take an, a, a cookie sheet and line it with aluminum foil, put it in that oven at 450 for about five minutes, then pull it out, spread your fries out on that tr uh, cookie sheet, and just heat them up in the oven for about two to three minutes, and they should be just like new. There you go. That's make, that yeah. makes me hungry, actually. Just think about that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Well, thank you so much. Uh, anything else we need to know about P. Terry's? No, I think that's it. But we appreciate your time, and uh, we look forward to getting on the other side of this and serving the folks of Austin. Sounds good. Todd, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Take care, Casey. You too.